So I've got an incoming call from myself. Got my custom ringtone going. This is uh, the uh, Bentley Dubs, I think they called it. I'm going to ignore the call there and uh, show you how it works. G1, this is iPhone. You can't mess with me. You see, you mess with me. You can't mess with me. I see your keyboard, but you're fat. I'm skinny. Peace. Okay, so first off is the notifications bar, which we've shown in the other videos, which handles all of your incoming notifications. And you can see I've got two symbols up there, an at sign and then a little, uh, the traditional voicemail icon. So when I scroll down, you can see that I've got, the at sign means I have new email, it's synced up to my Gmail account, and the new voicemail means that I have a new voicemail. So I can hit the voicemail notification, it dials automatically. While it's dialing, let's look at the uh, options here. I can swipe up to get my keypad. I can hit menu, swap calls, merge calls, add call, end call, hold, mute, speaker, and Bluetooth. No, wait, I missed that. Let's hear it again. All right, so there's the speakerphone. It's loud. It was a little muffled there. Hard to tell. So there you go. It sounds like the uh, the speakerphone, the muffled there was the call, the recording itself, and not the, the speakerphone here, which is consistent with my test. The call quality has been pretty good. The speakerphone's nice and loud, uh, loud for playing music as well. Um, so we will go into the phone mode here. We'll hit and you can see I'm blocking some numbers there because you don't need to see those numbers. But you can see up on top the tabs, uh, hit dialer, call log, contacts, and favorites and then it shows you your list of recent calls. So let's go straight to uh, favorites. The only favorite right now is me, myself, and I. Contacts, and you've got uh, this whole long list, you know, all your contacts in here. And if we go into an, all right, so if we go into an individual contact here, I'm hiding the number, I should have changed it to just a, uh, a dummy number. But you've got your picture ID, you've got your dial number, your SMS, MMS number, your send email number, other information. So I've got my custom ringtone down there, Bentley Dubs. I can hit the menu button, I can delete, I can edit. So we'll go to edit. And uh, one kind of cool feature is send calls directly to voicemail. So if there's a contact that you never want to talk to, you can automatically send them to voicemail every time, which I think is kind of cool. Um, you can also I hit more info and you can select labels so you can add an IM address, a postal address, other information, uh, organization they belong to, a note about them, all that kind of stuff. So really it's, it's a pretty, you know, as far as phones go, it's right up there. It's a smartphone and it's a pretty uh, sophisticated system for personal information management. We'll check out some of the ringtones that came pre-installed. Wait, where's Chinese phone? Digital phone? They have an old phone? I always like it when they have old phone on here. Insert coin. Now that's going to be annoying. Romancing the tone. Now this one, the most beautiful girl in the world live, I actually made that using an application called... We'll go uh, so you don't see my info there using an application called uh, RingDroid, which I downloaded from the Marketplace. You can see more on the Marketplace in another one of our videos. But uh, RingDroid right here, basically what it lets you do, it's a free application, and uh, you have to download it, it doesn't come pre-installed, but it lets you take any audio in your, uh, in your phone and create a ringtone out of it. So, um, very anti-Apple in a way, although Apple now you can make them from GarageBand, but But anyway, uh, so this is actually a, a song that I purchased from Amazon. You can see that on our video about multimedia. And I hit it, and this is pretty, you know, for the geeks out there, this is pretty sweet. It looks like an audio editor. It's got the waveform. You can zoom in and zoom out. Like, this is, this is, you know, this is like my computer. This is crazy. And so you can set a portion of this that you want to be your ringtone. And uh, we'll just do the beginning here and play it.
Great, and we'll hit save. And we'll save it as Molly's Chambers Live, blah, blah, blah. And now it's a ringtone. And so now if I'm back and I'm editing my contact information for myself here, uh, the email is infodogatphonedog.com if you want to get in touch. I can hit the ringtone and there you go, Molly's Chambers. And now that's my new custom ringtone for whenever I call myself, which, you know, I like to do a lot. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll go back also and we will look at the dialer. Pretty easy to use. Uh, this is, there's no virtual QWERTY board. You can't text virtually. You have to, you know, any text and in input, you have to use the keypad, the uh, actual, rather, the physical keypad here. But you can dial uh, using the touch screen. You can also go to your call log or your contacts and just tap on somebody's name to dial. You can set up favorites for speed dialing. Or if you open the keyboard, you can dial using the numerical keys up, up here. So there you go. Um, another thing that you can do with the phone, if you're in home screen mode, you can hit the green button to initiate voice dialing. Call Noah Kravitz. Uh -huh. Let's try it again. Call Noah Kravitz. Well, close. Let's try it one more time. Call Noah Kravitz. Yeah, it doesn't like my name so much. Let's try one more. Dial 555-444-1234. So that was pretty good. I always say my name funny. People always say I think I'm saying Miller. So maybe it's my fault. I don't know. You tell me. But there you go. And then you can hit OK and it'll dial or hit cancel and it won't. Uh, again, you know, the call quality is good. The speakerphone functionality is pretty good. Uh, when you're in call, you can merge calls. You can set up three-way calling, that kind of stuff. From your contacts information, you can... Uh, you know, lots of room to st store different types of information. And it also synced up my contacts um, via my Gmail account. So if you go to settings, data synchronization, and you can see, uh, you can tell it what to sync, auto sync or not, and contacts. So grab my contacts that I have in my Gmail account and pull them down automatically, which, you know, if you're getting the G1, uh, if you want the most out of it, you're buying into the whole Google thing. And whether or not you choose to do that is up to you. But if you do it, you'll get the most out of the phone. I'm not saying you should, I'm just saying the sync, the, the sync from the cloud with all the Google services works pretty well. So there you go, there's a look at calling on the G1. Uh, like I said, mono Bluetooth supported, stereo Bluetooth is not yet supported. Uh, it's a USB audio jack, it comes with a USB stereo headset. Uh, I believe they're going to be shipping, like the first batch didn't ship with an adapter. I didn't get an adapter, but I've used a regular HTC audio adapter. It works okay. So you can plug in other headphones if you want. And there you go. Be sure to check out all of our other coverage of the HTC G1. Lots of other videos going into all different aspects of the device. Much more on the website as well. Blogs, written reviews, photos, all that stuff. Phonedog.com. I'm going to say something cheesy. Phonedog.com is your source for everything you need to know about the HTC G1. We'll see you next time.